Hello and welcome to Megor's technical support video series Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform demagnetization using the three phase winding resistance and turns ratio form number 56000 in PowerDB version 11.2.9. Let's get started. Let us understand the background to demagnetization. Due to the application of direct current to measure winding resistance, the core may become magnetized. This can result in high inrush currents when the transformer is re-energized. IEEE standard C57.152 states that to demagnetize the core, direct current should be applied and its magnitude should be lowered as the polarity of direct current is reversed. This is to be done a number of times as seen in figure 1. To begin the process of demagnetization, I have the three phase winding resistance and turns ratio form pulled up in power DB. Once you're on, on that form, let's scroll down towards the center of the form. Beyond the nameplate, you'll find a section on transformer test conditions. In that, you have a blue colored button with a magnet sign on it. So that will begin the process of demagnetization. So once you click on that, a new window should populate. In this window, again, you will see similar to when you perform a test, you'll see the vector configuration of the transformer that you're testing. I am in the simulation mode, that's, remi that's a reminder. Next, you will see the start button and then you will see the exit button to the right. In addition to that, you have the status bar that is telling you the status of your test instrument, which is in idle status right now. And then, if you look at the center of your screen, you have the demagnetization window where the demagnetization has been chosen to be from H2 to H1. And what you can see is the cycle. So which cycle of demagnetization is running? What is the current that was the target? And then what was the achieved current? And to the left, you see a, a variation of the magnitude and polarity of the current that's used to demagnetize the transformer core. If you look on your right side, you will see test current. This test current right now is selected at 100 milliamps. Now that field is configurable, so you can click on it and you will get different values for demagnetizing the transformer. Now selecting the right value uh, involves ensuring that the value that was used to make the connection or make the winding resistance measurement, that same value of current should be used. For example, if you used a 10 amp value to measure winding resistance, you should use a 10 amp value to demagnetize the core. So let's select that 10 amp value. And further than that, you have a demagnetization section that says which part of the core you will demagnetize. So there are several options. One is the low side three phase. You have the low side center leg. You have the high side three phase and the high side center leg. We are going to select the high side center leg. To the right, you have a dialog box that you can click so that this main window will close if once the test is done. I'm going to leave it unchecked. Now that we've familiarized ourselves with the demagnetization screen, let's go ahead and begin a demagnetization process. So you would do that by clicking on the start button. Once you click that, you can see that the status bar has changed. It's now charging. After that, to the left, you can see the different cycles that the current is going through. At the center of the screen, you can see that the H2H1, that is the high side center phase, has been used to perform the demagnetization. Next, you see the cycle number is changing. There were 20 cycles. So we are now at cycle number 17 with a target current of 2 amps. And the actual current that's being measured, that's also available. Now, because I'm in simulation mode, the target current may not always match with the measured current but that's just for the simulation mode. The key aspect to observe here is what we discussed previously, 
where the magnitude and the polarity of the DC current that's applied is changing. So as you see from the first cycle here, a, a minus 10 amps DC was used, which was the same magnitude that was used to measure the winding resistance. Now that current was applied in with a negative polarity and that polarity was changed to positive and the magnitude was further reduced. So that will allow for effective demagnetization. You can see that the software is advancing in the cycles as it goes down in the magnitude and the polarity of the direct current. We are at cycle 7. Now it's the last few cycles. You can see the status bar now changing at the last cycle to discharge. And you can see that the demagnetization complete message shows up on the status bar. And you have the finish button available for you to save these changes to the form. So I'm going to click on finish. And after that happens, you can see that your transformer has been demagnetized. This concludes how to perform demagnetization using the three phase winding resistance and turns ratio form number 56000 in PowerDB version 11.2.9. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.